Okay, I feel that remote appointments are very useful when you know the doctor and it is um, a sort of ongoing problem. I think they can be brilliant. But I think, for instance, I've just changed surgeries. I was speaking the extended hours doctor who didn't know me with an ongoing problem. And because he couldn't see me and couldn't see how swollen my face was, he couldn't see the redness, he couldn't see the teariness in the eyes and the, you know, the way my, my left side of my face was different from my right side, he was having to go by what I said. And so it took quite a lot of effort for me to persuade him that actually I did know my symptoms. I'm waiting to be, I've been referred to ENT and I'm waiting to see the consultant. And that I actually knew that this was sinusitis. It wasn't COVID. You know, I knew exactly what I was dealing with and that I reached a point having already waited that I need antibiotics. And I think if he had seen me, he would have realized that, yes, I knew exactly what I was talking about and it's an ongoing problem. And then there's another issue is that I am able to handle the technology. Whereas my, I think of some family members who simply, you know, they don't want to own a smartphone, download an app so they can be seen on video. Um, they, you know, a phone call means they will never be seen face to face. It doesn't work for everybody. And I think it's a very mixed blessing in COVID. It's great. You know, it's better than, than spreading infection. But I think as a long-term solution, I think it needs to be used as part of a strategy and perhaps for dealing with well-known patients, ongoing issues, but it's not a panacea. And it's definitely not more convenient for the surgery. I don't think it saves medical time at all. Having said all this, I also know from my husband that the picture quality isn't always good enough to identify subtle things. So it might have been clear with my face because you could see the swelling and it was quite pink on one side. Maybe he would have been happy with that. But if it's something more subtle like a rash, I think in the end, I would want my GP to see me in person because I think, you know, there are so many different gradations of rashes and style of rash and to depend on looking at something over not very good IT connection doesn't feel very safe to me. When you have an ongoing problem, so when I get to know the GPs in this new surgery and if I have to ring up for antibiotics again, I think it will be easy and fine. And, and I think in that kind of situation where they know exactly my medical history, they know that I'm waiting, that the, um, you know, the waiting, it's been almost a year now, you know, then I think actually in that situation, a quick phone call to say, yes, we, you know, you're, so you're feeling bad again, let's give you antibiotics. I think that would be fine. It's the new problem or seeing a GP you don't know. And then of course, there's the issue that a lot of GP surgeries are having to use locums. So quite often you will find that you're seeing a GP you don't know. And then in that case, I don't think it works.